and bacteria gets trapped under the gums, it clogs and suffocates the gums, preventing oxygen from coming in and going out. This creates an environment for the bacteria to grow and mature into the type of bacteria that can survive without oxygen. When the gums suffocate like that, the blood vessels break. This means that there is inflammation and the gums are wounded. When the plaque and bacteria get removed, the broken blood vessels get exposed and bleeding happens. It's like ripping off a band-aid and cleaning an open wound. The bleeding is also a signal. It's like the gums are trying to tell you that they can't breathe. Regular flossing and proper brushing will eventually stop the bleeding. However, if plaque stays on the teeth long enough, it will eventually become solid because it gets calcified from the minerals in the saliva. Then, it's not called plaque anymore, it's called calculus or tartar. Whenever the calculus or tartar gets trapped under the gums, then the gums really suffocate and what happens over the years is a very slow progression of gum recession and bone loss until the teeth get loose and fall out. The way to prevent this from happening is by flossing correctly every single night by placing the floss gently below the gum line, hugging the tooth with the floss and scrubbing up and down and brushing with a soft toothbrush two to three times per day, gently along the gum line in soft circular motions for two minutes. 